Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Alex here, and today I'm going to bring you a little bit of Order of Battle World War II. And this is one of my more preferred game game styles. I've been playing this one since I was a little kid. And it's a pretty much turn-based hex strategy, is the simplest way to put it. And we got a bunch of little campaigns here. And... Uh, I'm going to go with Standstorm for now. I, I haven't played that one before. Well, I haven't played it in a while, let's put it that way. So let's launch mission, and hopefully I can explain everything as we go along. And I'm going to leave this stuff on the screen every time it pops up, that way you can read it if you want to. And now, we're going to be invading Egypt in Chobrunk. Or Chobrunk. Uh, I suck at pronouncing things, if you haven't figured that out already. So we're going to go over all this stuff as it comes up. Uh, Army Corps, that's the army we have specializations. We'll get to that at the end of the mission here. And difficulties, what difficulties we, we want. I'm going to leave it on second lieutenant because that's kind of the medium mode. First Lieutenant is... Oh, first. Goes from easy, medium, hard, and then you better know what you're doing type type of levels. I'm going to keep it a medium. So let's begin. Okay, and the mission briefing is how every mission starts. You got a little map here. And this pretty much tells you what we need to do. So I'm just going to read along a little silently. Okay. So don't lose any Italian units is a little secondary objective here. Which that is completely doable. And we have some places to capture. Now one thing that's different about this level than all the other ones you start off with is I have access to two armies here. I have the Italian army and I have the uh, German army. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to deal with the Italian army. And what I typically do with these guys is I just... Hang on. I just typically get them and use the, these guys solely for infantry. So, just looking over the little stats. These guys are a little better when it comes to attacking than the base infantry, but they're double the cost. So, for now, I'm going to think about that. Uh, what do we got for artillery guns? We do have an artillery gun. It's going to cost me half of my money. I typically stay away from tanks. And the Italian bombers have been pretty good in past campaigns. So each unit here is worth three little helmets, and I can do a total of 19 helmets. So I want to buy a few, so... 3, 6, 9, 11, 12, 15, 18. So that's pretty much it for what I can do for Italian land units. I can get a plane, so I'm just going to purchase a bomber. And I should have closed up when I should have clicked on this. Now it's up for the Germans. Which this guy's better against big planes, a little bit weaker than... And the fighters. So he's worth three, so three, six. And I think I am going to see what we got for the farmers. I'll go with this one. So that's all the air units I can purchase. Have a couple of anti tanks. I can do 10 for Germany. So I'm going to buy this guy. And that's already half of what I can purchase. And let's get a Stug. Okay, now it comes to unit placing. Let's 
most of their... Uh, let's deal with the land units right now. Let's get all the infantry down. Okay, now I can deal with my air units. Bombers behind the fighters here. And that is pretty gonna be it. I can actually purchase one German air unit, which I'm gonna purchase a recon plane. That can help you out because recon planes don't consume it, consume uh, fuel. You notice the little dash right next to their health pool. And the other guys, for example, my fighters can last 12 turns in the air, whereas my Italian bomber here. Can do eight turns and that's, that's pretty much it so we'll begin placement i do have this guy erwin rommel and you can atta attach him to a german unit i typically do one of the tanks and you you get pretty much give them a little bonus do you personalize appearance and ground here We'll convert, do that. We'll give Rommel a nice custom little tank paint job. And two attack against land, infantry, and mechanized. And a little bit of a shock damage done to the enemy's efficiency there. So we're going to close that book and start the level. Okay, first things first, let's fly my scout plane up, see what we're dealing with. And let's begin with doing a bombing run. And I'm going to fly my fighter out a little bit more to see what's over here. Nothing too major. Let's use my, my infantry to start softening up targets here. I can get this tank around. Let's use my tank to stop this guy up. If I didn't own him. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. At least take this town. And move this infantry up. I truly really can't do much. And I do have units left unmoved. So who has unmoved? I have a little artillery piece hiding down there. So let's bring him up right in that nice little look. And because right here is the arrows, I'll show next turn, I forgot to mention that. Um, I have no more units to move that don't have an action via attacking, moving, repairing. But I don't have to worry about repairing right now. None of these guys suffer too much damage. So these guys are falling back. And they brought in a tank. Which shouldn't be too much of a trouble. I mean, my engineers there took off half his health. So, first things first, let's get that artillery gun out of the way. And move my scout plane up, see what's hiding over here. And I'm feeling pretty good about trying to bomb that town. We're going to bomb that, and we did successfully take it. We cleared it out. Let's not extend my fighters too much. And I have a better chance of dealing damage to the artillery. Which we did. And let's walk up and deal with that artillery gun. I'm not a big fan of artillery. They tend to shave off a lot of health off my units. Speaking of which, um, let's get rid of that tank. You'll notice a quick blue plus sign popped up here. This unit is supporting this one. I'm not going to move forward. I'm actually going to move this guy forward that way. And that should clear him out. Now, I mentioned these little arrows here, and that just cycles me through all my units. Which, I want this one right now, because they actually do need some health. So, I have different I have different buttons down here. Since this is an engineer, I can lay landmines, which 
after I lay them, they have no allegiance. Anybody, I can get damaged by them. The enemy team can. I can upgrade them to a different unit, which in this case, I could actually make them a better engineer. I'm not going to do that right now. But I have two forms of healing. One is cheaper, gives me the same amount of health as the one with the star, but they lose some experience. Whereas I can pay a little bit more money and they don't lose any experience. Which does make a lot of difference as they get more stars. Now. And now, which one of you guys? Let's move up. Let's move you guys up as I can. The unit tends to be able to move more if they're on a road. Put you there. And now to time to talk actual strategy. Okay. Uh, let's bring up the whole mini map. Right down here is where my forces are. This is the entire map, whole campaign I have going on. What I'm thinking of is I got going to split my forces up into two groups. A small light group, which is just going to go down this road. Probably a tank, an infantry, maybe two infantry, and maybe an artillery piece just goes down this way and then have the rest of my force go up sweep out clear this area then split up have a couple of troops just clear out this side of the mountain and the rest just go this way and we'll meet up somewhere around here hopefully and then I can just finish my sweep across one thing that does have me concerned is this big old open desert there might be something that happens there later on. I'm not sure. I'll have to keep an eye out. But all my troops have moved. I can start to divide them up. I think I'm going to leave the Stug down here and I'll probably do the artillery piece right here along with trucked infantry. That way I can keep up with the tank. But Rommel here, I want to keep with the main force. That way I can use his little boost more effectively. Let's move you up. Scout up ahead. It is looking pretty, pretty empty. There's some guys. Let's get all these towns with you. So I see two towns that are being defended. The rest just look empty. Swiss, the British, it's have British access to New objectives have been added. What are the new objectives? Damage enemy aircraft with German German fighter aircraft. I would love to do that if the um, enemy kind of show their aircraft. They have yet to do that. So let's get you over there. You, one of you guys has a truck, so you can go over there. Anybody else with a truck? Engineers are going to keep with the main force, though. So we have our Full force here, and I can actually buy and place more troops. So I can buy and place more troops, huh? So I'm gonna purchase and deploy you, which leaves me five on Italian. Which I'm gonna get some heavy infantry. I think that'd be a nice nice call and for the Germans I can do no, should be selecting the German army I can go up to six uh, the toughie I think I'm gonna go with the, pan, the uh, Panzer J purchase and deploy so that's it for what I can place so, um, so two more infantry and a nice tank I'm gonna send probably the little commando dudes here up to this force and I'll move, keep, incorporate the rest into my main army okay now let's, let's see what my planes can do nothing much so I'm gonna set them up for bombing runs next turn and I'll probably send this my Italian bomber back to heal let's get Rommel up in the leading the pack Artillery units right behind here. And 
As I'm marching, I'll just heal up anybody who's missing a couple of health points. Oh, yeah, you're the engineers that have a truck. And that's going to be it for this turn, so we'll heal. And now we have a fighter plane to deal with. And our supplies limited and strongly stockpiled to reduce the time. That actually is one thing I forgot to mention about this game, is I do have to worry about supply consumption. Every unit here consumes a amount of supplies, and this is all the supplies that I currently have coming in. Which is why I should capture like these two towns, that'll give me 15, that'll be another 5, 10... Yeah, right here's the juicy one, but that one, town's going to be heavily defended. I might want to run back and steal that guy first. We'll have you guys going down the road. Pretty much going to be using my fighters up here, so I'm not going to worry about giving them a scout plane. I am, however, going to get these guys on the road finally. We have a nice little convoy set up with a... He's going to be a little bit late to the party, but if they run into any action, that'll help out. Let's place Rommel there. You right there. And quickly take that town. Move some, in move some infantry up. I'm going to need some on head towards this way. Trailer gun moves up. Uh, place the uh, engineers right there. Artillery piece. Who do I have left to move? I have my bombers. Which I would love to do a bombing run on that tank there, but I sadly can't. So I'm just going to send him back to refuel. We'll run a bombing run over here. Hopefully that'll weaken them up. Which did minus one health, and that was everybody. Okay, strafing my infantry. I don't get why he doesn't go after, like, a perfectly good bomber. They can see it. He knows it's there. But, I don't know. Let's see if I can shoot this guy out of the skies this turn. And yes, I did. Which means I can open up on this guy. And tank. So we beat him out of the way. He's retreating. Get you guys down the road. Get you move down the road too. Get you up. Scout plane. So next turn, I'll capture that town. This guy. How do I want to move things from here? I'm going to send these two guys to capture that town. I'll give them a tank when I can. Fighters have gone. Give my... This, um, I can jump between units. Say there is a tank under this plane. I can see the tank better, see the plane better. I'm gonna move you guys up as much as I can. Get the artillery gun moving. Who do I have left to move? I have Biden on me. Move you that way. Let's see what you guys can do. I don't think I'm gonna have them push. Right? Nah, I'm not gonna have them push. But that is everybody. Anybody on low health that I can heal. 
It's one of the things I always forget. I need to constantly heal my troops. Okay. Um, so you want that town. You're more than welcome to try it, but you're going to lose. Okay, what do we have going on over here? Move the tank up all the way, move the infantry, artillery, and these guys are trapped behind. I'm gonna give these guys a tank. The next turn, we'll be attacking that town. Concentrate on my plane, so fly one right there. Another right there. Anti-tank gun. Yeah, we had some stuff hiding on us, so they're pulling a little sneaky. Then my artillery up for next turn. Start moving you. Once you complete all primary objectives, you'll be given the option to continue playing until the secondary objectives are achieved. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that. Secondary objectives seem to be going pretty damn well. Can you deploy? Yes, you can. We got a nice full tank of gas. I can capture that airfield next turn and then start landing my aircraft there, which is good. I think I'll land, uh, get this bomber down first, and then next turn I'll do my fighters. Start rotating them out for fuel. I'm probably going to get hurt, but let's see what I can at least do there. I can move Rommel up in that spot. And get the tanks, and I think with the artillery gun, this will be the force that takes out that area. So, I'll put you guys over there. You guys will sweep across that way. Let's get up the mini-map view. We have our, this guy here included, but Force number one here, they're pushing up successfully. I'm gonna actually have them make a left turn and go north and start clearing out the area around this town and go in for the capture. These guys here are gonna probably take this town and go in system. If not, I'm going for this little town right here. And everybody here, the main force, is gonna punch their way through here because it seems heavily defended. And if I can get a sense pretty narrow here because of the mounds and stuff. I'm probably going to split a couple guys off and I'll head them down this road to capture that town. Got my bomber here fueling up. I've got an airfield right here to capture, which I'm going to capture that as soon as I can. Start swapping out planes so I can get gas. My uh, German bomber here only has six turns left versus my fighters, which also have six turns left. So uh, that'll be a thing. Uh, who do I have left to move? I can... Oh, I have yet to move my bomber. So I'm going to bomb that truck right there. And get those guys out of the way. Infantry's not doing too well. So I'm going to end my turn. Okay, they're destroying equipment. Kind of thought that was my job. And you're going to take a couple turns, but I'm going to fly out to support these guys. Yeah, I'm going to deal with a good chunk of forces there, so... I think I'm going to park my vehicles here for now. Get you in town. Let this uh, infantry catch up and give me some time to do some stuff over here. Get the tank right next door. Move my infantry up. Truck you guys in. See how we do. Town has been captured. Okay. Got some infantry that I would love to hit with my tanks, but. Right now I can't start working on that. If 
Parker tank there. And put a tank right next door. We have my fighters, which I can't land there because I parked a tank there. But I still have plenty of time. I'm going to use one fighter to attack there, another one to scout there. Next turn, I'll move them down here to scout that. But kind of want to get rid of this guy's entrenchment bonus. As you, you can tell visually by the little sandbags hiding around there. But if you look down towards the bottom of the screen, down right here, because it's not going to appear with me not hovering over it, is you can see that little shovel next to the battery. That shovel means how he's dug in a lot. Zero being none, nine being a super amount. So he gets a little bit of a defensive bonus. Which is why I really don't want to put my tanks close to him. Because if I attack with a tank, he's going to punch more holes in my tank than I would to him. And I think I am running out of supplies because now I'm yellow. So, who's cutting off my supply line? I'm pretty sure I cleared that area. Or did I? So, if you look by my little guy's health. It's now yellow. Yellow means they're low on supplies, so things are going to be interesting. And nobody's cutting off my supplies. Looks like so. The game's just throwing me a curveball. That's always fun. Yay, curveballs. Okay. I know an enemy plane was spotted here. I'd prefer to get these guys gassed up, but I still have four turns with them, just being one of them. I am going to use them to kind of go after that little plane that appeared for a second. Get you on that road so I can pull you up at least. And let's get you moving. Okay, I have a tank entrenched there. Let's move that guy there. You guys moving. Set up the. So, next turn, I'm going to attack that tank. Okay, you guys are going to catch up, and then I'll begin thinking about my invasion over there. So move all those guys up. You can get on that road. And you guys are gonna stay. Continue our campaign there. That's very much going about as well as I planned. You move into the town, which is good because you lost your entrenchment bonus. They're pretty much retreating along that line. Australian troops are retreating towards Tiburk. Only a small Red Guard remain to delay the advance. Okay. Let's see if I can get my scout plane to scout. Yeah. I am not going to attack an anti air gun. But next turn, those guys are coming back. I'm going to gas them up. I can't find the plan I'm looking for. Okay, I know there's a tank over here. 
Two is three versus two, two versus possibly more. Now that attack is going under well, you're set. Now, how do I want to proceed? Well, first things first, get rid of that artillery if possible. Get to kick those guys out. For that artillery gun. Get my artillery right behind them. So that attack went pretty well. And I just have these guys that are sitting here waiting. And as you can see now, they're starting to get sandbags. They have a little fortification entrenchment of three now. Which I'm gonna, I'll move those guys in, ne in place next turn. That way these guys will be a little bit closer. But for right now, they're fine where they are. Okay. Um, I'm going to use you guys to take the town. That way I can advance you guys, heal you up along the way. Let's park my tank right there, along with infantry. Let's see what we've got hiding back here. And let's get my two fighters heading that back that way. Park my artillery there, there, and leave my tank sitting back because that's a nice little anti-tank cannon. I don't want them poking big old holes in my tank. And I'm going to park you right there because if need be, I can always fly you over a mountain. Okay. All those guys have been pretty much moved, so we just have our nice little coastal assault going on. Which, yeah, let's drive around all as far as I can. I can do four on a tank, three on infantry, plus the defense of that gun. Let's get you guys healing up as we go along. And let's punch a big old hole in that truck. And I'm not going to push forward. My artillery can't start softening up the target. So let's start doing that. Open up my flak gun. And you can't reach anybody extremely useful, so I'm going to fly that way. And you're almost there. You're almost there, little truck. Okay. So their tank's coming down to attack, which is not the best move for me. Continuing to retreat. And there's somewhere in the fog. Now you show yourself. Really? Could have been fueled up. But either way, uh, one fighter is close enough to land, the other one's not. Doesn't matter, they'll both be taken off. I'm gonna heal the guy with seven health and leave the eight as is for now. Okay. I have a cruiser. I'm going to pull you back, heal you, get an artillery barrage going on, drive you up that way, and put the stoke there just kind of as offensive, unless I can somehow move you guys out of your total effective combat range like an idiot. 
Move you. Heal you. Eh, I can attack you. And get you guys moving down the road. At least gonna bomb something. Yeah, I don't care if you shoot at me. I want that town. And I ran into a convoy. Artillery barrage him. Heal. Heal. And bomber. So you have I yet to move. I can attack with you, which I'm not going to. And I have my scout plane, which you're doing fine right there, buddy. So those are the two guys left. So yes, I know I have unmoved units. I'm gonna leave them there. They can have a good time. You're gonna retreat. You're going to push forward. And you're gonna come down. So you guys are gonna attack my tank. If I thought about it, I would have swapped Rommel with another tank. You're going to annoy me. I know I said I was going to heal this guy, but I'd rather go after that bomber right now. Let's move Rommel that way. Put you guys down the road right behind them. Artillery gun get in your truck. The little tr the little battalion that could. You're now going after an anti tank gun. Which I should have bombed first. Can't really attack that town with my tanks, Oop. with some tanks in the way. At least get one tank out to push you back. So I have a bomber left to use, which kind of like the idea of going after you. Did I use my stoke yet? No, I did not. Three, three. I have a good chance of killing you. Left you on one health. I attack there, I have this guy defending everybody I want to attack. So he's a little bit of an undesirable element. I will, however, move you up. And that's gonna do it. Next turn I'm going for that artillery piece. And you would run away and land. Oh wait, no you didn't. There was two planes in the air that I missed. And one of them is bombing my artillery. So I pretty much captured that. I'm going after that airfield next. You crank up the throttle next turn. I want you attacking. You're mopping up whatever's left. What do I have and where? Okay. I think it'd be best to deal with Rommel's right Rommel's group right now. Driving as far forward as I can, which that's pretty far forward, right next to some engineers. Not the best guys to have next, but I have a plane. Let's move you. Artillery you can help out with that one right now, that'd be grand. Hopefully we can punch that guy off the map. You, however, my friend, need to go get gas. I don't want to stick around seeing if I capture that airfield. Let's pull you back. Give you a nice, fresh supply of troops. You have been erased. So let's start punching holes and stuff.
let's attack you guys. Park my scout plane right over here. I want to see. Um, so I got a dingo and a cruiser Mark One. Not much to worry about. Pretty much everybody I'm sure is gathering towards Tober. Which that area is going to be really interesting. I can see some little cliffs here, so that's some areas where I can attack from. This town here looks nice. So let's see what's going to happen next turn. Okay. You've been fueled up, but too late. I've got myself another hero. Which I'm thinking is because I completed that mission, but... I'm going to put you in the new bomber. Well, new fighter. It looks like a bomber, but it's a fighter. Don't judge. I know you're judging. Okay. I can take care of that, which I'm going to roll a tank right here. Take out that. You have been cut off from supplies, which is not really ideal. But supplies have been reobtained. Let's just start mopping up this. No, 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 no. Don't want to put a truck there. Let's just start. Let's use you to deal with that. Attack with that, and then I'll move you over to attack. I'm gonna park you right there. I walk anybody right up against that ch unit. Not really. I can at least truck some guys out, and I'm gonna place you right on that town just in case they try to capture it. I doubt they will, but you never really know with the AI. And let's start moving my artillery out. Why not bomb you? Okay, you're down to half the health. And my scout plane is scout planning, so let's put you over there. Give you some fighter coverage. I'm hoping fighters actually defend you. Typically, if you have a fighter next to a bomber and an enemy fighter attacks that bomber, your fighter, which is flying next to it, of course, will kind of defend and lessen the blow. I don't know if that works, like, however. So, oh, how was that a smart move for the enemy? You, you, well, granted, you cut off some of my supply line, but in the end, I'm going to be taking back everything. So all you did was stall me. Get that guy fighting. Uh, if I was thinking, I could have gone after that bomber a little more. Oh, well. Um, you got full health, so let's do that. Move you that way. You could use some health. Start moving you out. Can I get you in that town? No, I can't. Yeah, let's move and heal you. Truck and heal. No, can't heal you now. 
I can park you right there. That's good. I want that town. Move you down. I got my horse back entirely. And there is nothing for me to bomb. Actually, let's get you trucking. Actually, I can bomb you. That'll do. So who do I have left? I can move you, which... I'm going to park you down there. You, yes, you need to land and get gas. Okay, so I have the majority of my force here. And I'm probably going to surround this with infantry. Send some tanks and stuff down here. Let's actually start setting that up. Move tank down. You land. You need help. Park you there. Start trucking you guys around the town. I'm not going to engage until I have this town surrounded. Put an artillery piece there. move you one and heal and hello everybody um kind of just gonna pull away from the game audio and do a commentary after the fact because this part got really tedious and over and i think the best word is just redundant um essentially what i'm doing right now is everybody's getting moved into positions there couple of troops and stuff i'm just going to take past uh toberk i believe is the name of the town and just attack the bunker on the other end there which is actually my main objective and i do have a couple of days left to capture it so everybody's just kind of moving getting all set up i try to stay out of stay out of artillery range but the road those guys just moved on are actually in range and pretty much Moving everybody without a truck, they're going to be the ones doing the main assault. Trucks and tanks and stuff, which have a much better mobility, well, mobility range than everybody else, they're going to be going to the far side, because by the time they're over there, the foot troops will be around, and I can start, I can start my attack. Cycling planes, getting them fueled up, moving around, and just getting everybody healed up. Not really much of a a profit crisis on on this campaign that I can recall might be later on, but there's definitely other levels in the game where money is super super duper tight. There are some times where I'm sitting there like, oh, this unit's about to die. Do I have enough credits to heal him? So that became a thing. Um, because that plane's getting health healed up and fueled, I decided to. Take the commander off of it and pop him on another plane. Which is somewhere around here. And the British bomber presence in this map definitely was a pain in, pain in my side. Because every time I brought my fighters back to fuel up, heal up, or I sent them off somewhere else, that's when the bombers popped out. But seeing as most of the map is now under my air superiority, I was sort of able to deal with them quicker they decided they did spend a good time just popping down into their hangar and healing up being an even bigger thorn in my side so you can sort of see there on the little enemies turn there that my uh some of my guys were in artillery range so i decided to move the whole column out one more spot and just keep everybody moving And there was one infantry unit, if I remember correctly, that the enemy just was stuck on. I think it's that little uh, troop there in between all the tanks and stuff, about 7 health. It's either that or one of my engineer groups. Couldn't I, I don't exactly remember which. 
Uh, the one thing I would love to do right now is take my bombers and start bombing that town, but there actually is a really big anti-air gun. I don't know if I poked, pointed that out earlier or not. So, British bombers coming in doing their thing. I'm hoping I got one bomber up. That should be my other bomber, and fighters are finally in the air, and I got one of the two has my, uh, my, uh, little hero on it. I decided one of the more effective things would be to capture that airport right there. One, it'd be, a sh it's closer to a lot of my targets and stuff. And I can, if I need to fuel, I can, or heal. They'll be able to get into the fight and effectively be useful next turn. But it would also limit where the enemy is, because say I take all the airports, they suddenly run out of spots where they can fuel up, so their days in the air are limited, and I'm assuming they'd either crash or they're going to have to, like, pretend land on a flat piece and just bail on the plane. One of the things I wasn't expecting is that Navy ship. Um, Naval ships, that one is a small guy, so he doesn't have a large range, but some of them can shoot really long distances, something like six or eight spaces, so just parking on the shore there, they definitely would be able to hammer my units, but... There wasn't anybody like that. That guy only has a range of like two or three, so pretty much artillery that I can always predict is going to be at the seam there, at the edge. And the one thing I do want to point out now that will come a little bit more, more of an important factor later on is there's some ships that, because of their hull and stuff, or like submarines when they're sunken, they can't go on like that sandy beach water parts because they'll run ashore. So not every ship is able to go on everywhere in the ocean. There actually is some limited spots when they get close to land or they do island bars and stuff to kind of limit movement th that way. But figure that'd be a fun little tidbit. And I'm hoping in the first few videos just to cover all the mechanics and stuff. Just so... I don't have to worry about it later on. I can say, oh, I can just go they're more in-depth in this video or something. or I can just cover really quick, like, oh, that guy's low on health because of the yellow circle or something. Well, not low on health, low on supplies. But the sooner I can cross out all the mechanic stuff off my list, the more I can get into talking about what I'm actually, my strategies and stuff. And hopefully these videos go a little bit faster. I know towards the end of this one, we're looking at an hour or so. So, begin the artillery bombardment on that town, it looks like. Tossing in some bombers will be coming in as soon as I get rid of those uh, anti-air guns. I'm not worried about the little guys, the big one in the center there, which I believe I can get to really quick. It's that little fog of war spot that I can't see. But everybody in that town's entrenched and super defended. And then we have just a couple of units poking out there. They're also entrenched. A little armored vehicle, which I deal with that one with that rather quick. Not a big fan of that anti-tank gun there and having two tanks, so that's why there's that infantry unit there. They'll have better luck dealing with them. And pretty much my bombers are focusing over there because they're not they'll be useful and not being poked full of holes like Swiss cheese. I just don't remember if I did it this turn or next turn. So, we'll find out in a second. All my infantry is moving in. I get to the point where I just start rotating infantry. When they get half health or something, I'll pull them back, send in another troop. They'll heal, so when the next one pulls back, they're all up at full strength to move right in and continue hammering everything. Which I do have to hand it to the map makers that made just that town. Because there's little cliffs and stuff where they can shoot at me, I can't shoot at them. And it, it was a nice, uh, unique way to design the town and made it a lot harder. There's actually sections I would love to put infantry in attack, but because there's a cliff, I can't put it there. They'll just sit there and do absolutely smurfly nothing. And this town was the hard shell to crack. It's one of the secondary objectives, which I do like doing. That's how you get some of the heroes. The game usually gives you some sort of award, whether it's extra money, extra units or something. You can place more of your own. 
I, if I remember correctly, there's one side mission down the line. If I do that, I get an Italian hero, which I can place him on an infantry, which sends my Italian army here is basically it is more of a infantry build than anything else. Definitely would help out. I do get to the point where my army, my infantry units get so big, I can start moving into other areas. Usually anti-tank or artillery pieces when it comes to the Italian. The Germans army, I tend to keep them more or less mechanical. I might down the line get a couple of units or something, but it depends really on the stats. And Germany definitely has better tank, had better tanks through the campaign than the Italians, so I kind of stick with that, get the panzers and stuff rolling across the field. And when you have someone like Rommel, tanks definitely become handy because his bonus transfers over them, so your tanks get even more lethal. There's some stuff in the specializations, which, again, I'm going at, over at the end of the battle, but you get nice little perks and bonuses through the campaign. So you can make... Uh, your general units and stuff, if you pl place them right and stuff, you can make them even more lethal. Looks like I'm getting close to doing the final push on the main objective here. I did get a little bit of tunnel vision during this campaign. I wasn't paying attention to the day, to my, uh, the days I had, the amount of time I had left to do that. I was running out of days. And if you hit zero, if you hit, if you don't complete your primary objectives when that timer runs out, that's a game over, you lose. It's not like, oh, we're going to yell at you and give you an extra day. Nope, you, you just flat out failed. Which there have been plenty of times in this game, and the other one that is similar to it that I play is uh, Panzer Corps, which I'm excited because they're coming out with the Panzer Corps too. The second that one gets installed in my computer, you better believe it's going up on the channel. And then I can learn the new mechanics in that one, but... There have been plenty of times where I've hit that mark and I'm like, ah, oh, one more day and I would have been able to take that last town, that last objective, get rid of that last unit that I had to. So that bunker is going to be going down pretty fast. I have plenty of units there and I can just rotate them out if need be. Yeah, here I am pulling back some units and stuff just because of their health. And pretty much, the faster I can clear out like artillery and stuff and get rid of the anti-air units, the faster I can use my planes. If there's one AA gun or if it's a small, if it's one of the little AA guns, I'm not going to worry as much. I mean, it's still going to be a threat for me, but I'm still going to go in there and do it because I'll lose one or two planes and I definitely have the money to heal it up. I'm in the hundreds here. It only costs, I think, 10 at most to heal some of the units which might cost more down the line. I don't remember a lot of this campaign. There's a bunch of campaigns in the entire, in this, in this uh, version of the game. And trying to remember them all is ridiculous. I do think after this one, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the germ campaign. I tried recording one of the other ones and it over and over again. I know that battle way too well that I want to. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go over to a finished campaign. That one was kind of fun. Or I'll do the uh, Americans or British. I believe the British have a campaign here. Not 100% sure, but we'll do another campaign and have a little bit more fun. There's definitely more, more of this game coming along the way. Okay, so leave next turn. That bunker is going to fall. And then the game gave me the option earlier on, like, oh, you want to complete your sec second objective? Is like, eh, why not? I'm not going to lose the game. There we go. Bunker's mine. I can complete second objectives, which at this point, I'm just taking towns. Getting that little bit of extra experience from t the destroying enemy units. And I definitely looked at the counter, the clock counter at this point. I'm like, oh, crud. So at this point, I'm focusing all units I can to take that little town right there, which is m one of my primary second objectives. And on the last turn is when I did take it. Which I'm sweating bullets like, oof, getting close there. But overall, I believe this, yeah, this is the first level to this campaign. It, it's definitely interesting. You get a bunch of the mechanics and stuff. And they definitely throw a bunch of curveballs in, in this campaign down the road. 
and overall it's enjoyable. So I believe next turn is going to be my last push. We're on 29.30, I want to say. It's kind of hard. The whole playback video here is small. So I think I'm just going to wrap it up here, and then I'll explain the specializations and do my final buy. So if you like the video, hit the like button. It is a little bit lengthy and stuff, but I'm hoping to get that down as best I can. The campaigns in here are generally long. If you didn't like the video, I'm sorry you didn't like it. Please, by all means, hit the dislike button, make me cry. And just comment down below what you thought about it, what I could do to improve, and all that. And yay, we won. Harbor destroyed. Town captured. They're going to try and take it, but I have enough troops in there where they won't. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I always have more content coming along the way. I'm trying to get everything organized right now. And by the time this video goes up, hopefully I have it all organized. So now onto the little specializations, which I am going to click yes. And as the time goes on in the campaign, that grave area at the bottom there gets smaller and smaller, and I get more and more access to everything. This campaign started me off with a few, and I can go between the Italians and Germans, and thankfully the resources for those are split up. Otherwise, I would be putting all those points points for the stuff I really, really want to get. But the game kind of forces you to pick, doesn't pick, force you to pick between the two armies. You get some for both of them. And pretty much for both of them, I'm going to go with the War Economy because that just gives me some extra units each turn. And there's some other fun stuff down the line which we'll get to play with. So other than that, like, comment, don't like, subscribe, and hope you have a nice day.